The final piece in the Suzuki Violin School, Book One, is called Gavat, and it's by a composer named Mr. Gossick. So we just nickname it the Gossick Gavat. The Gavat by Mr. Gossick has many different bow strokes in it. Being the final piece in the book one, it's quite the graduation piece. And there are many concepts we need to master before moving on to book two. For instance, we have staccato, martelet, legato, we have grace notes, we have some fast finger passages. So there's much to master before moving on to book two. And of course, we want to have it memorized for our teachers so it sounds really great. So before we go into playing the whole piece, I'm going to show you some practice spots that we need to master first before playing the whole piece. And this one is in, um, in the second half already um, on line five. There's a spot where it kind of flies. But to learn that, we are going to break it down and play it like this. Four, two, and when I said four, two, I am moving my fingers to the spots. Four, two. And I'm going to try to use my whole bow this time. Four, two. See that? Four, two. Okay, now as I learn it, I'm going to be like a train getting a little faster and a little faster. Four, two. Four, two, four, two. And so forth until it's four, two, four, two, and so forth. Okay, uh, at the beginning of the piece, we have staccato, which we mastered in some other pieces in book one. I like to do them kind of set release, so my bow is in the string and releases out of the string. You could think of it as a dip swing, or I like to call it the boing boing stroke because my stick is going boing boing boing, see up and down. So to do that, set the bow in the string, release, set, release. It's the staccato stroke for. Now the next measure are martelet. Wait, wait. Set the bow in the string, feel it tight, and then pull. Wait, wait for the weight of your bow. Wait, wait. Now that little quick note, that's called a grace note. So you want to get that little note in that much bow, and then the final note, the G, longer. You don't want to go, you don't want to do that. You want right there. So just practice little chirps. See how quick you can get that second finger down. The next spot. Here it comes again, martelet. Wait, here's a quick chirp. Legato. Make sure you play the high C sharp on the G string. And then Martelet. Wait, wait. And that repeats back, and then you have more, and then we have a staccato. Legato. Staccato. Legato. Staccato. And as I said before, you have all those 16th note passages, 4-2, and then other places in the... Make sure you practice stop bows. Set your third finger, hold it there, 4. Leave the 2 on. I 
did skip a little spot. Octave, hold the four on. Octave, hold the third on. Hold the two. One, stay on. Okay, so those are some practice tips. In the next video, I'll play the whole piece for you.